and uh, welcome back to the Slightly Biased Podcast. It's been a couple of days since we uh, hit the old record button. I, I, looked it up, I looked it up today since the last time couple we hundred days. recorded to get just us three together on this podcast. How many days has it been? Couple, you guess? A couple hundred. At least... Two, wait, wait, at in, least 200. In person or virtually? In person. Ooh, Recording for I, slightly oh, biased. Oh, 450. Yeah. Maybe, at least fi- two maybe years, 500. Two years. I have on my phone. I don't want to fuck this up. 539 days. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. January 20th, I think, 2020 was the last time we were wow. together. That was, do you know what that? The start of the pandemic. That was the start of the, just before the pandemic. But also, I remember. You're having surgery. I was having surgery. I remember earlier, early that year. You put together a presentation, a state of the state, if you will. I think that was a year prior. That was, yeah, yeah. So that we just wrapped up the year that we were supposed to hit 100 episodes, which we didn't. Spoilers. We so did our best. <laughs> what, what are we at? What episode? Are we in the 80s yet? I think we're 81, 82, 81? 83. I don't even know. We had a hiatus. We were, but we're I remember you put together a very well thought out presentation, and we of followed it to the T. <laughs> of course, we were of course. Super successful, of course. But hey, we're back. Here we are. In person, the gang. Yeah. Well, yep. you guys Vax did. Wax and wax, ready to go. You guys did the uh, the uh, social distancing podcast. Yeah. It was it was successful. We we recorded every day, for for at least four months. For at least four months. Yeah. How how long did you guys record for? I think we started it in April. We no, be, no, but how, oh. how did, long per per episode? Did it be twenty five thirty minutes? Yeah, it was wow. very short. Depended episodes. on if we had a guest or not. Did we um did we break a hundred episodes? No. Okay. I fell on my back and I lost all steam. You and did. I got mono. Oh, oh God, mono! You had mono. Yeah. And then he and then he hurt himself. Did you think fighting you had COVID? right there? I thought I I thought I had COVID. Yeah. And then he hurt himself right fighting a centipede. Right there, actually, right above you, Grayson, is where the centipede attacked me from. It lunged at me oh. and I fell on my back. There, I thought I was paralyzed. There is a big crack in the ceiling above. I me, actually so. I actually did not know. Th- so wait, what happened? A I centipede was, attacked him. It was it vicious. Was last July. Okay. Uh, around one o'clock, I had just eaten McDonald's. At one o'clock in the morning or one o'clock in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Okay, that's I think that's a fair that's question. That's a valid because that's a McDonald's already, time. Both of those are McDonald's. I was time. already yes. worked up that day because I had to go to IKEA and I went to fucking IKEA, and the line was wrapped around the building. It's pretty stressful for COVID. You. Did you go by yourself? And it was ninety fucking degrees. Did you go by yourself to I IKEA? I, I drove back. I didn't even get out of the car. I was like, no, I'm not dealing with this today. You you but, abandoned your mission. Yeah, but your you mission. Left your post. It was a uh, solitary. It was one. It was just you. Yeah, it's just me. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. You got to go with a partner. I don't like no, going IQ yeah, with no. a partner. I like no. going by myself. I can't go alone. I can't go alone. Buddy system. Yeah. You get lost in there. It's you, dangerous. You don't have service. <laughs> it's a, it is a maze. <laughs> there it's are amazing. arrows on the floor, but hey, those could be backwards. You don't know. It, yeah, it could be. You could be walking in a circle forever. They could just be sending you to the Swedish meatballs. You never know. Yeah. I'd be happy if they did. They're tasty. They're They're be tasty. great, though. So I actually still have some frozen Swedish meatballs and frozen like mashed potatoes in my freezer at home from the last time I went to Ikea. I just bought, you know, the freezer section. At the yeah. End. Are they still good? Yeah. Yeah. I need to eat. How them. many pieces? They're, it's you like gotta, 20, you put it's like 20 meatballs. You got to put together yourself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Comes what's, with instructions. That's what, the joke. What's the difference with Swedish meatballs? What do they I do no differently? Idea. I know they're smaller, right? I think it's the gravy. Yeah. Huh. I bought the gravy, too. When in, when in Rome. I don't know how to tell you. Delicious. You can't you can't say no. So anyways, I was in I got was really flustered. Okay. And I drove back here. I got McDonald's. I got a McChicken or something. Ooh. I just, ate it. You just got one thing from McDonald's? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. McChickens are good. I had a McChicken. I was like, sitting are here. You, are, you the, are you a bargain McDonald's there? Do you go and get like a bunch of things, a bunch of small Depends items? on what I want. I don't know. I'm not worried or, about Or do you get like the Primo, like the $12 meal, you know? Or do you go and get like... Pre- Twelve dollar meal. Yeah, do you get no, like do you no. get like the number one, the number two, or do you just go number like you know, one dollar meal? Number one defaults what like, nine dollars, like two dollar burger. The Big Mac. Yeah. I don't Big think Mac the Big is, Macs it's are all very bread. good. It's all bread. It's like eight do bucks. You, do you know what I had yesterday? That was a kick ass burger, Dairy Queen burger. Their grill yeah, burger. They're the best. I was Dairy like, Queen's the best. It blew my mind. I was like, this is. Um, I can't believe I've never had this before. It's unbelievable. Have you had the flamethrower? Uh, Gotta have the flame. No, what, what's the difference? Throw up. It's it's just a baconator with hot sauce, with like a hot. I don't like hot sauce. Spicy yeah, flavoring. I'm, I would I wouldn't I've, like that. Oh, it's I hate delicious. to break it to you, but I'm pretty white. Uh, I don't like anything spicy. Uh, yeah. I like the spice. You know, I gotta have that variety. How to much my life. pepper did they use? <laughs> <laughs> too much pepper. For too you. Much, too much pepper. <laughs> have you seen that meme? It was like, how spicy do you want your chicken? And then the woman's just like. Packing pepper over it. <laughs> one yes, one little, little shake of pepper. Uh, yeah. I can't even handle sriracha, so oh, I don't God. like sriracha. Jeez. Yeah, I might. I try, but I, can't I can do, do like Frank's 
if I have like ranch. my my limit is like a medium spice at an authentic good um, Indian restaurant. You know, like a medium. I don't like Indian I'll, food, so I'll battle through Indian food because I like it. It's delicious. I'll so throw good. A, a good because like a medium curry that's hot for most white people. Yes. So like I get the medium curry and I'm like sweating, but that's it's like it's a good sweat. It it's makes good me for happy. Your, it's good for your metabolism. It too. makes me happy. Makes I love me shit. It. It, I mean, I'm I'm at the point where I think I don't get shits from spicy food anymore. Wow, wow. Yeah. you must eat it often. Yeah, yeah, I I'm a good partaker. Your of body's a, just burnt, like burnt and scarred on the insides. Y- it really adapts, you know. Your body, it's a very flexible machine. Okay, but it's a miracle. The body's yeah. a miracle. We got to take care of him and not get so you attacked hurt, by centipedes. So you hurt your back. Uh, so I, 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 came, yeah. I came back here. I was eating my McDonald's, which was just full of regret at that point because it was just not good. McDonald's is, is just the worst. I really only eat it when I'm drunk. You were already feeling like a brick in your stomach. And uh, I was sitting here watching television, watching uh, Lean on Me, starring. I could just no, imagine. No, no, no. What was I watching? I don't think it was Lean on Me. It was the one with the other guy. I don't know the Spanish guy. I can just imagine your girly scream when a centipede me. falls. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I can recreate it. I can recreate it in a second. Hold oh on. God. But, uh, I bet you had a girly scream. It was. I, I think a lot of flail? people. A lot of people would. Yeah. To be fair, centipedes yeah. are horrifying. They're, they're horrifying. Nightmare creature. Yeah, but th- they're they're good to have in your apartment because they eat other bugs. But the sight of them is just so unsettling. It's viscerally upsetting. I don't like it. Yeah. Deep, so deeply upsetting. What's what's worse, seeing a a centipede or a human centipede? I think the centipede's worse. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. Because less legs and human you're centipede. expect if you're watching a human centipede, you know what you've signed up for. Yeah, but a centipede that surprises you. Did you ever see the South Park episode, the human centipede? Centipede, yeah. the human centipede. That's the dumbest episode. I mean, it's they're all dumb, but they're so was, they're amazing though. Yeah, they're good. they're good. I was sitting here watching Stand and Deliver. Oh, which is a 1986 f- film. Did you just Google that? I don't. I don't. Want, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to butcher the name. Of you the didn't movie remember because you know, I'm sitting here and out of the corner of my eye, a left eye. Look up, and there's right a centipede right above Grayson. Okay, it's just poking its head up, being like, "What's to up? the left of him on What's the couch up? for the viewers?" So I grab my Swiffer, listeners. which is my centipede killer. It's, a, fl- it's sh- a flat one. So right? this was not your first the centipede. One with the flat bottom. This is not my first experience with a centipede. But it's I've, the one I've never experienced a centipede before. Here's, here's the thing: it's the one with Grayson. The... It's part of the fucking story. Okay, okay. It's part of the story. It's not a flat bottom. They're hard to it. kill. They're it hard has to kill. it okay. has the ridges on it. So it's not completely flat, but the okay. So I shove it up there. And I say, you're dead. You know what your mistake was at this point? He sh- what he should have done. Grayson he made should a have, lot of mistakes. He should, have, <laughs> he should have twisted it and ground Grayson, it. Grayson, I tried. Oh, yeah. I tried. Okay, okay. But the problem is it was the, the way this apartment is like 1980s design with these lines across it. I don't it's, know what the fuck the point of it is. It makes no sense. I think it's poured cement. And those are each a different section so of cement. So to give yeah, the, it is, the viewers just, a view. It's, it's awful. It's it like, looks like the inside of a parking garage. Yeah, it's it's basically just vertical it's like lines. Late seventies, early eighties architecture. It's and it, awful. It kind of looks like it's where you would grout like a tile. Yes, but it's not grouted. It's Cham- open. you could say chamfered. Chamfered. I don't yeah. know for, what that for means the, for the engineering people. I don't know what that means. So Sorry. I shove the Swiffer up. The cat's watching me, being like, "What the hell are you doing?" The cat's upset, and I'm trying to twist it, but the Swiffer's not flat. It's got the ridges on the bottom yeah. of it, so yep. it just bumbles. So I'm like, "Oh shit! Okay, okay, I got this." <laughs> This is terrifying. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> Try really hard not to laugh. It would have been scarier at night, but one o'clock in the afternoon. At night, I would have gone to bed. One probably. I would have gone to bed at four o'clock at night. I'm like, fuck it. Good luck. Good luck, centipede. See you later. Jesus, take the wheel. And I pull it down. <laughs> it's not dead. Of course not. It's probably <laughs> it's pissed off too. They're like tanks. You really gotta fucking squish <laughs> them hard. So how big okay. is it? I've never seen one in like, real life. It was like this big. It was big. like this big. Okay, so it's not like, that like why? No, 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 no. no. Like, they're just terrifying because there's so many legs. They're yeah, like yeah. they're like a pencil that grew a thousand. I'll legs. send you. A, uh, I'll send you a picture in a second. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, do I have it? And I pull it down. It fucking falls onto onto me. And the the, the key the, the important Absolutely part. Absolutely horrifying. Of and this and it was pissed off. The probably. important part of and it was so pissed off. Yeah. The important part of the story is IKEA. Because I went. To, I was gonna go to IKEA. I don't go to IKEA in flip flops. I go with with in sneakers. Yeah. So I had socks on, and these are hardwood floors. Uh, and I and it comes at me, and I slip, and I fall, and I just fall, and I, I let out. <laughs> yeah, face. it's I fucking just, terrifying. I just showed him a picture, and and I, I let out, like absolutely a, nightmare. I, I get out like this cartoonish yelp. Let's hear I can't it. even. Re- can you it's like, ah! Yeah. Yeah, heart, those are. I didn't realize their legs were that long. Yes, yes. terrifying. Yes. They're, they're like, like a little, spider. But they were like little legs. No, like from, no. remember bugs? No, that's a, that's a millipede. You're it thinking does. of a millipede. It depends how big they are in the life cycle. Uh, and so 
I fall back, and my left oh. my left arm hits the corner of the entertainment stands. You're thinking of these things. Yep. These are millipedes. And oh. these, these are friendly. So I hit that, and then I just fall over my back. And I was like, for a second, I was like, what the fuck? Am I paralyzed? You couldn't feel your legs. And I get up. I'm just like, no, I can feel my legs. I was just a fucking bitch. <laughs> and so I get up, and I walk into the bedroom, and I'm just like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You're, like, mad that you hurt yourself, Yeah, too. I'm trying to compose myself, and I'm like, oh, fuck, it's still out there. Did you it's punch anything? It's still out there. It's waiting It's actually where Grayson was sitting on the couch. It was, it was like, just stunned. Sitting I don't know what... It was just yeah. stunned. No, no, no. Did, did you did punch, punch anything? Like, no, you know, I, was, like, I was in pain. Like, when I, like, bang my head in the house... You, like, I'm, punch something because you're mad. Yeah, I'm mad that I did that yeah. to myself. And then, so, and then I, I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta deal with this. The cat's not doing anything, of course. And I'm just did like... Did you kill it? How'd you get it? So then the idea spawned in my head. I don't need to squish him. I need to suck him <laughs> with a vacuum. With a vacuum. So I have a little. I have a little dust buster over there with yeah. like a little thing on it. And I yeah. came out and I saw it on the couch and I was like, oh, "Fuck, don't run!" And I ran out to it and I Are sucked it up. Are they fast? Yes, they're yes. very fast. They run. They're very fucking so fast. Okay. You, ever, you ever see a spider running? And it's like that shouldn't be able to move that fast. Um, I don't think so. Okay, you've been lucky. And <laughs> <laughs> like, you ever see an ant like running? Like, I've really? seen, like an ant scary. Yeah. scary, yeah, yeah. It's about that fast. It's fucking a little bit faster. They're fast. They used to be so that, quick. That makes me you uncomfortable. Have to be so quick. They're horrifying. I, see, they I look like a. They look like a long spider. See, I would have <laughs> when I seen that picture. I was like. Oh, it's scary, but I would assume it moves like a slug, which no, it sounds they, like they, it they fucking scare. No, like they catch other bugs. They're so fast. They're hunters. I got to change the picture Nick put on his Twitter because he has them next door too. <laughs> oh, they're so. And they're a problem in this building. They're, they're a problem some, everywhere. They're a problem everywhere. 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 Uh, everywhere. They're usually more in first floor apartments. I've killed. Yeah, they're on. I'm. I'm on a. I'm we on never basement. had one in our apartment. I know, it, it was really sealed. That's why. Why it was much. Uh, it was way sealed off. Like this is not that sealed off. That's why the yeah. tape. No, it was the yeah. tape. <laughs> the, <laughs> the tape, tape that he put does up. a job. It I'm, works. I'm sure it does nothing. It does. It stops. Have it. you seen a bug caught in the tape? I'm not gonna drink myself, but yes, it was. I caught a centipede up there last year, and I decompose. I watched it decompose. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, actually. But oh, I gotta find this. Picture. Yeah, no, I, I'm on a first floor, kind of a basementy first floor apartment because the yeah. the back half of the building is on a. It's on a hill, so the back half is the second floor, but they're all. Do you have a sliding door to open up? This is the one that Nick saw next door. This is the how this is one he sees all the time. He's in the first floor next door. They're fucking big. Are those the things that crawl into your mouth and stuff? No, maybe. Uh, In some countries, they do. Depending on the size. Why not? Depending on the conditions. If it's colder in your mouth than outside. But I sucked it up, and I was like, "Fucking sore." Did it crawl out of the vacuum? (laughs) No, the vacuum. The vacuum kills it because they're not super durable. And if anything else in the vacuum, any other small stones or anything, or okay. it just fucking hits them and kills them. Yeah, bah. it kills them. Okay. It's very, Did you it's very, uh, verify yeah. that? It's dead. It's dead. I made sure. Is it still in there? No. Okay. Well, it was, was a then. year ago, so. Yeah, it, was, it was a year ago. <laughs> Maybe it's babies and in like, there. Maybe they have a little civilization. Okay. And then the following, like, I felt like I felt st- sore, obviously. Like, it fucking hurt. I was fine. But then later on in the night, it was, a f- it was just like, I was so over it. It was like a fucking nightmare of a day. You went to urgent care, didn't you? I'm getting to the story, Grayson. You're just jumping ahead. I forgot. And I'm sitting here, and I'm just like watching, and I see the I see that room over there. The cat's fucking going nuts. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And I walk in there. The centipede in there, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I suck it up. If I have to chase it to suck it up, oh. and then I come back in, and then another one shows up, and I'm like, what the fuck? They Maybe know. it was the same one. No, I sucked it up. Maybe it climbed out of the vacuum. No, I made sure they did. I right. fucking suck them up. And like the, the same time I'm watching this horror movie called The Beach House, <laughs> which is like about by yourself, yeah, at night, is, yeah. And it was it's it was about, about p.m. No, this was later on the evening. <laughs> and it, so scary. It's an other really horror film where of like just like things crawling on you and like it's just gross. Why would you watch that after this? Because I saw it on Twitter and somebody, I don't know, I'm fucking, idiot, I don't know, because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> and so I'm just like fuck. And then I suck it up and I'm just like what the fuck. I'm sore. I go to bed. The next day I feel okay. And then that Tuesday. I was at Wegmans in Burlington. Oh, that's a great Wegmans. It was like 3 30, 4 o'clock. And all of a sudden, I just felt fucking awful. Like, I felt run down. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So I just like, I sat with that for a couple of days. I felt just no energy, zapped. I checked my temperature. It's fine. I make an appointment, go to urgent care in Watertown. The Watertown urgent care, it's like the U- AFC. Is that what they are? The brand? Yeah. 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 I, I make the appointment. I the go one in. that's by the Chipotle? No, that's the, I'm getting to that. That's another part of the story. Oh. But this that's is the, the one, one in Waltham. Waltham. Right? Waltham. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. That's, that's, Watertown sorry, sorry, that, is, that is literally two blocks away from where I live. The yeah. Watertown oh, okay. one oh, okay. is on Arsenal you. Street by Target. And uh, I make the appointment. I show up. And, of course, it's COVID. The guy meets, yep. comes to the door. We're in the fucking full suit. Yep. And he's like, 
what are you doing here? And I'm like, I made a fucking appointment online. What do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> He's yeah. like, go home. And I'm like, I don't feel good. <laughs> go home. <laughs> I we'll, don't feel we'll, good. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll call you. And I'm like, I made the appointment. I didn't say I had to be telehealth. And he's like, yeah, we're going to have to do telehealth. You can't come in. And yeah. I'm just like, it's COVID. Fu- you kidding me? And that was in July? That was in July, last July. Okay. So I come home and make the fucking appointment. I talk to the fucking PA. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. COVID test. Nothing else. Co- I'm like, I don't feel good. COVID test. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, I feel like shit. You did not. And you had to pay a nice, nice juicy copay for that one, too, I'm guessing. Oh, it actually came back this up actually a little bit. I forgot about the other part of there. I went to urgent care earlier in the week. I went to Partners Urgent Care in Brookline because my, my thumb was all fucking bruised. I landed on my thumb. And it's like, it could be broken. I'm like, okay. And I go there. Do you not have a primary care? I do, but was, I need to go urgently. Uh, I needed to go <laughs> urgently. <laughs> urgent care. <laughs> your, your thumb was urgent? It was fucking, it, it, was, it, 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 was, it was awful. It was all bruised up and just fucking felt terrible. He had okay. a fall there. Could you feel it? Yeah. Michelle, had, Michelle said it could be broken. So I'm like, okay, it could be broken. Yeah, but that's, I wouldn't consider that urgent. Well, I mean, yeah, a broken guess, thumb guess, is pretty it urgent. My, it was my left hand, so I mean, it's cool. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I bet right. And uh, <laughs> I go there. They say, yeah, it's just a fucking sprain, you idiot. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, you idiot. And I, they give me the little, they give me the little splint, the little, splint yep. a little bit. Aww. And then, so that was the Monday. The Tuesday, I felt like shit. And uh, just sitting there. and I. And do, you, do you ever find out what it was? Maybe like a mild concussion? Grayson, you're jumping ahead in the story again. I I I thought that was the end. I didn't know there was more. My, no, my, no. So I go to urgent. I get, they talk to the PA. She's like, "Oh, COVID." And I'm like, "That's that's not COVID, but okay." They gave me the COVID test, which is the long, the very first experience of the COVID test, and it was the fucking long. Oh, the scratch your brain one. The one that goes way in, and it, it wasn't COVID. Then I spent the rest of the month in my apartment, just feeling terrible. Quarantine. Just feeling terrible. It was not COVID. And wait, wait. So that they were like, "Oh, it's not so, COVID." So that, so they're like, that was "Okay, it. our engagement is done now." Yeah. Okay. Our and transaction. I, was like, I felt is a little over. bit. I felt a little bit better, but it wasn't hundred percent. I was like, "It's probably from the fall." Because I thought it was like something from the fall. Like I just like maybe between my lung and my ribs, I bruised something. I remember that. I remember you saying you thought you it, bruised. It, your it probably ribs. was that. So, I uh, spent the rest of the month feeling like shit. There was a qu- por- 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 part of the month where I hugged a blanket over here. I didn't want the sun to touch me at all. <laughs> I felt awful. You're so weird. I watched the John Adams miniseries, and it made me feel a little better. Did you watch Tiger King? That was in April. Oh, this is July. Okay. And then I was feeling like shit, and I was like, "Okay, this is this is time for the big guns, primary care time. Let's do this. I want to make an appointment." They're like, "Your primary care can see you in like two months," and I'm like, "That's not helpful at Just all." Just for a regular no. appointment? Just for telehealth. No, it's it's telehealth. Helpful. Wow. Because everything's telehealth at that point. You couldn't yeah, go yeah, into yeah. the place unless you're like. So more no, people no, had appointments. Probably. Well, normally it takes. Like getting a physical is ridiculous. Like you have to book that right after you have it yeah. for your year. But usually they keep like appointment slot. Like, man, they must. Well, U.S. Healthcare isn't great. And then so I I, I couldn't get a, my primary care. They they gave me to another doctor who was like not a primary care but similar field or similar specialty. So I talked to her, tell her what's going on, and she's like, "Oh, it's not. It could be COVID. We don't know yet." And I'm like, "It's not COVID. Nobody knows how co- this and COVID she's like, thing well, works." We'll give you blood work to see what's going on. And I get the blood work done, and then like. Was, my vitamin D was super low, but oh yeah, that was when you get got a uh, vitamin D supplements. Yeah, and I t- did that, and I after even like a month after that, I felt like shit, and I was like, you know what, primary care, please. I'm not waiting anymore. I bitched enough. Got my primary care. I talked to him on the phone. He's like, you know what it could be, and I'm like, what? He's like, it could be mono. And I was like, really? My chest still hurts though. Like it feels like it's bruised. Though. He's like, just take ibuprofen, you idiot. So Michelle give you mono? Oh maybe, or maybe you did. Uh, we've never <laughs> kissed. I don't know. I don't know how long it takes for in your system. <laughs> we, but we've never kissed. How do you get? Is that how you get mono? I remember it's people got mono. Disease, it's the right? kissing people disease. People got it in right? high school, but right? You can get it. You can get it oh. not from ki- you can get it from like okay. anywhere. I it just, it's a, it's just a bacteria, right? You can Monosta- get it. Yeah, mono. Yeah, mononucleosis. So, mononucleosis. so what? You get what do they give you? They just give me a test. And, but at that point, I was starting to feel better. They give you antibiotics. So it's pu- no, it's probably running its course by that point because I was over. Because it's like a it's a long it's the long haul. Yeah, like it was awful. Maybe the maybe the centipede gave it to you. I mean, you know, I don't know. Did you kiss it? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I don't recommend mono for anybody. But wait, did you get a positive yeah. result though? Yeah. So you did have mono. I did. How do they find that? So so it's weird. a blood test. Oh, it's a blood test. Okay. But that fucking first doctor didn't think about it because she was so distracted with COVID. I mean, to be so fair, distracted by to be COVID. fair, I think everybody was a little distracted. But you can't you have tunnel vision when it's when it's just like that. When I tell her I work from home, I don't like go anywhere. I stay. I follow all the how'd protocols. How did you get mono then? I don't know. If you could have gotten mono, be, it could have been COVID. I'm just saying. Based on the symptoms, and I had a COVID test done before I saw this. this they should have tested for other things. 
but they didn't. It was just yeah. vit- my vitamin D was low, so that's uh, that helps me out so much. You know, you could just use grinder for that. <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> vitamin D. The do you know like I think it's like eighty percent of adults above the equator. Yeah, I think have a vitamin D. Yeah, a lot of people have it. Yeah. Mine was super low, but. What'd you do? What'd you do for that? What'd you? I took you a vitamin D supplement, fifty thousand once a week or something. It's a lot. Jesus, fifty thousand milligrams. No, no, it's, no, it's, it's like I, IU. I, yeah, I oh, it's not okay. milligrams. Okay. Like, it's, it's like it's fifty thousand milligrams. This is what you pill you take once a week. Fifty grams, right? Is that the conversion? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Quick math. Five hundred grams. I ended up having to go back to urgent care for another reason because I got an ear infection. Jeez. In Labor Day weekend, I think Where'd I was like an I ear infection. You don't clean your ears. Grayson, things just had mono. I mean, it weakens your immune system. Vinny, Vinny, you gotta take care of yourself, man. Oh my god. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not going back to that fucking Watertown one. I went to the Waltham one. Yeah. Urgent care, yeah. way better. Yeah. I could go into a little coat, a little like go inside. They got a Panera. They got a GameStop. I've been there too. That was my summer. That's where last I live. Year. I live right there. Wait, wait, wait. Which one? I'm talking about the one that. When we get your STD testing done. That's that's. Oh the my one. god. <laughs> that's the one I was talking that's about. Leave too. it in. Leave it in. That's 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 the one. It's Every, much it was better. clean. It like so. I I was reading. So you're, I guess you're supposed to get STD tested like every year if you. Yeah. Uh, if you're if you're if, if you're in the market. If you're cool. If you're yeah. cool. <laughs> and uh, I had never done it before, and I was like, you oh. never got an. You went to college. Yeah, I never got an STD. Oh test. my god. And I was like, you must have been really fun in college. (laughs) Well, (laughs) online college is a little bit different, but okay. You didn't Uh, go in person. I did for a little bit. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, and I remember I went there and like, they're like, is there any like shit on you? Like, is, do you have any physical symptoms? I was like, Oh no, I thought, I thought I should. They're like, don't get it here. Like go to your doctor. I was like, Oh, I didn't know. Oh, okay. Oh, you went to the urgent care for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, I remember I called because they were like, oh, you'll get your results. And I, I think it just like it freaks you out. Like, even if you know you're good, it's just you, waiting for the results. Do you, yeah. do you know what's really good for those actually is Planned Parenthoods. Oh, OK. That's yeah. good to know. You can go any Planned Parenthood. And if, if you just like ghost them, they don't come after you for money. They just pay for it Oh, because they have funding. Well, I think they need funding for other things. They do. I mean, yes, you should pay. I, your, I can to be clear, I'm not back. advocating all I'm not hearing paying is your medical bills. A lot. That's all I'm, hearing <laughs> right now. I'm not saying you should ghost your uh, medical bills, but uh, I know that they are particularly forgiving. But I remember I called and like the receptionist, it was like my old primary care. And I was like, yeah, I was looking, you know, get my STD result test. Yeah, <laughs> STD. And then <laughs> she, she goes, oh, let me see if they're, they're ready. Cause it was like, they had like a very rudimentary, like, mobile app portal but it was garbage so i was like okay and the way she answered i'm trying to remember like she's like um she's like i, ha- I have your results and i was like oh, fuck. and the winner is long pause and she was like I, and i think i was i was getting in my own head she's like yeah you're negative you're good and i like interpreted that i was like oh fuck do i have something she goes no no you're good to go i was like oh thank you so much have a <laughs> wonderful weekend <laughs> so yeah but yeah, you're supposed to get what, a negative that? result is a positive. Result. It is. It is. Yes. Uh, positive emotions. Yes. Wait, ha- when was the last time you got one? Uh, I think it was out of Planned Parenthood. Yeah. What about you, Vinny? Have you ever gotten a test? I get HIV tested every year. They make it but super no. easy because you, you can you it. can like schedule like you were talking about the on- scheduling online. You can schedule. I, I mail my blood in. Yeah. No, well, you don't have to. You, you don't. Ha- you have to go in person for Planned Parenthood. Oh but, fuck. But yeah, you can like schedule it online. It's like next day, walk in, super anonymized. Yeah, they, they make it very like uh, easy to do everything. You have to get a bl- is it, is it a mix of blood and urine test? I think mine was just urine. I thought it was blood. You, I yeah, mean, well, well, the, the more yeah. compl- there's two of them. I mean, obviously there's different types. There's a blood and urine, but the I think the urine covers like six out of seven of, oh, the, okay. of the things they test for. So yeah, that was f- four years ago when I did that. Yeah, yeah, that was 2017. 2017. Yeah, August 2017. I remember well, I had to pick up at the airport. Which, which, which brings us to another piece of news. Uh, you might be having to get those again soon. What for what? being for being in the market again? Oh yeah, I am on the market You're again. In the market again? Yeah, m- potentially. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna be a big time player. You're gonna have to get STD tests. Yeah, yeah. Could just wear a condom too. Yeah, that's. I'd wait till marriage. I mean, you should do that either way. Yeah. So yeah, that's a, that's another thing. Well, I'm not too, I'm not active right now because uh, you know I live with the roommates. Yeah, that would do you, be by roommates. Do you mean your parents? Yes. Okay. That's exactly for what the I listeners. Mean. That's exactly what I mean. So yeah. So I think you know I move I move back out to the city in a couple of weeks and yeah, I'm just working on myself, doing my own thing this Hell summer. Yeah. It's been cool being out by. It's been kind of it's been cool, but also not cool being at my parents because it's like so far removed from the city. 
so I haven't spent like any money, which has been cool. Yeah. Um, Good way to save money. And then there's greens. There's greens. Like, like you mean like trees? Trees and grass. <laughs> yes. Greens. <laughs> and uh, you know it's 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 plenty it's, of oxygen. It, it's been good. Yeah, plenty of oxygen. Plenty of um, you know, carbon being removed by the trees. The carbon capture cycle. Yes. So. If uh, you know, you know how there's uh, there's there's hot girl summer. What would you call your summer? Hot what summer? Oh, it's hot nothing. Um, hot, hot dad bod summer. Um, I would call it. What would I call the summer? I would call this. Um, do I have to use hot and summer? Yeah, hot something summer. Yeah, yeah. Hot. I don't know. What around? What would you? Well, hot, we're not. We're not really in this. Hot. Um, uh, I'm we're, we're we're hot occupied. reset summer. Hot reset summer. There we go. Derek's hot, the hot, th- hot working Grace on myself. Y- summer, <laughs> Derek, you got to hit the three M's now. What's the three M's? Oh yeah, the three. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, the program to better yeah, yourself. It's yeah, a yeah. 2.0 the program. two <laughs> system. Yeah. Remember when uh, I wrote like a like a, literally like a contract and I yes, do- yeah. I had a document. You weren't there, Grayson. I've heard the story. Stop acting like you were there. I, I by remember I've heard the story. Yeah, I had a document signed. Like yeah. Who was the coast? Who was the witness? Then? I, Julie actually. Oh, Julie. <laughs> yeah. Every, the three uh, M's. Well, I don't know if what were the like M's? Muscle, muscle money, money, and, and muff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but you were with Julie. No, yeah. Well, no, this was prior to the. Oh, this was program. Pro- okay. She, yeah, she probably, yeah, that was. It must have been. Must have, it must have been Vinny was your witness. Or your no, your, 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 no, 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 stories, no, 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 no. It was. The, Please it listen to This was like the our three M's. Oh, no, the, the three contract M- was different from well, the, the three M's. Well, the three M's okay. were also like the 1.0 program, like yeah. the 1.5 right. program. The contract was different from the three M's. Correct. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I, it was like pretty detailed, though. And I think I had, a, yeah, Vinny, I think Vinny countersigned it. Julie definitely countersigned it. Yeah. The contract. Yeah. Yeah. The 2.0 program. The one, the 1.0 was the one where you were concentrating on Muff. No, the 1.0 was just getting 1.0 your, is you. At money, yeah. money, muscle, and Muff. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. 1.0 is just like what you were. And oh, it like, it, I think okay. it was like 1.1. 1. 1 or I thought it was program release 1. version. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you were working on release 1.1. Yeah, 1. 1. yeah. <laughs> I'm on like release like 4.5 now. No improvements have been made. Very, very buggy. <laughs> <laughs> it I was got some uh, two pound weights up there. If you want to take them? Yeah, there's some, there's some oh. two pounders right here on the going shelf. for tone, not bulk. Okay, Ooh, it's an office joke. I mm-hmm. see. I see the dustbuster. That's that's the, that's the one. That's the murder that's weapon. The one. It was Vinny with the Buster in the in the living room. It's fucking terrifying. So Grayson, what have you what have you been up to? I have been up to being living in a different place. I think this is the first time we've. I recorded, mean, this is right. How many different yeah. places? Uh, no, it's just it's. When it's we, just when we met you, you were living in Somerville. When you were, came on the pod the first time, you were in Somerville, and then you yes. moved. Then I moved to Charlestown. Charlestown. Then Alston with Kea, and yeah. then I moved to Alston to get away from Kea. Yeah. And then you moved, and then I moved Mission to Mission Hill, Hill and I yes. had that great balcony for the summer of nineteen. Yeah. And then you went to Dorchester, and then I, I really liked that. Besides that hill, that was a great. It was spot. a yeah. great apartment. It was. I was way out of my budget. I could not afford that apartment, but I did it anyway. And it was how totally much was it, it. For, for? How many? How many bedrooms was it? Four. Uh, it was four bedrooms, and each bedroom was thirteen. Wow. Hundred. Wow. wow. I mean, it was nice, and the the living room was huge. It was so nice. It was so nice. I literally ate those pre-made. You know the the grocery store has that section next to like the deli section where they have those like pre-made dinners. Yeah, I'm, I'm well, I'm well aware of that. Yeah, yeah. I was like living off of those. <laughs> I remember Vinny used to uh, grab the Stop and Shop chicken. Still get it. Well, yeah. we got the salads now. I think the fried stuff's not good for you. The so that's stuff. one, two, yeah. three, four apartments. Oh, in so a year. four apartments. Somerville, here. Charlestown, Town. Alston, Mission Hill, Dorchester. Waltham. He lived in six different places in like six months. No, I no, no, no. It was like a year months. and a half. It was like, like a year two years. Yeah, when like when did you move to the place? Uh, your most recent place? March. March. Six. Six. Five oh no, moves. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. God. March. Yeah. Partway through March, Ugh. and then I got all of April for free because Ugh, it was a all deal. Moving. I got I got April rent for free though. That's that, cool. That was yeah. a good deal. Yeah. I li- I looked at your place. I liked it. It's uh it's nice. I mean, I I think right now Maggie would rather not be on the ground floor because of the bugs. Yeah, um, centipedes, am I right? Yeah, we get centipedes, we get spiders, we get flies sometimes, but it's mostly the centipedes and spiders. Um, you got to spray it. I mean, yeah, yeah. We have well, we had ants, and then I got ant traps. No more ants. Huh? Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? They're very effective. Weird. Joe, you, know you should get. Um, 
So out in the sticks where I reside currently, there's a lot of ticks. Ooh, yeah. And my dog is a magnet for ticks. Gotta worry about I found ticks. We found like 13 on her one night. And oh she's God. she's on the medication for it that kills them, but it ta- they can take like eight hours. So the problem is she sleeps in my bed, and I don't want to get bitten by a tick. But I guess I also learned that they have to be attached for like 24 hours to transmit disease, so you're in pretty good shape. Um, Just give tick checks. Wink at your yard spread. Yeah. Well, wink. Ch- I I wink. do I do tick checks <laughs> for her, but she she has so much fur. Yeah, it's um, it's hard. But anyways, I came across this product called. Um, you can sponsor us. Uh, Wonderside, I think it was called. Um, but they do home products that you guys could spray, and it's like essential oils that fuck them up. Nice. So maybe you can spray that. I'm always a little bit sus of essential oils, but I spray peppermint in here. Really? Yeah. Does it work? Did it's, you? S- I don't know. Did you sage it? Okay. No, but pa- I learned a p- you can you buy stuff smudge, online. You didn't smudge your apartment? You can buy stuff online, but I just bought peppermint oil. I just Why didn't you, spray s- bottle. you should have saged it? It's called smudging. Is that what it's called? Yeah. The sage is the leaf, but the smudging is the act. I didn't know that. I'm being educated. Or you could just move again. Since you like it so much. I mean, I mean yeah, so that was, that was what I was getting to, was that we're just... I like where we are now, but if we had to move, we would move to an upstairs apartment. Yeah. Where it's not. Do you like books. the location? I do. I like the. I don't. I don't. I think I'm paying a pretty reasonable amount. It's like eighteen hundred, um, for a one, very reasonable for a one bed in Waltham. Um, I'm glad you say it correctly now. Waltham. Yeah. Yeah. You. you, you, you say big, Waltham. Yeah, you were a big Waltham guy. I was like, I don't know. It's probably Waltham. Whatever. No, nope, it's Waltham. Um, the Clock City, right? Mm-hmm. Or Watch, watch City. Watch City. Watch City. Yeah. Watchmen. No, it's because they make watches here or something. They I don't make know. watches? Okay. Probably not anymore, but. Oh, China. Joe, it's a cool. I The spot I really wanted to move to was um, there's a couple apartments right on Moody Street, which is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like they're m- definitely more expensive. They Oh, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like Boston prices for yeah. Moody Street, which You'd I. You'd be paying like 2500 Actually, do you like breakfast foods? I love breakfast foods. Have you been to In a Pickle? No. Place is fun- I don't even is know it if they're still open. Yeah, it's phenomenal. I'm going to have to stop by because I'm right up the street. So good. It's so good. I don't know if they're still around, you know, with COVID and all, but yeah. I, yeah, I like that the um, the grocery store is like a block away. There's a Chipotle block away, a Panera, the GameStop, the Fun Urgent fact, Care. That Chipotle is where I found that I had mono. But yeah. I opened up Was the it? results at that Chipotle, and it said wow. I had mono. Wow. Do you remember when we first moved into our Waltham place? I remember. And, uh, Sam and I went out for a birthday party, and we came back. Mm-hmm. It was the hammered. first night. The, literally the first the night. The first night. We came back hammered. The first night in a new place is always fun. And But Sam loves to rap at oh my God. when he's drunk. Jesus. And we the, the Alexa was set up, and oh Sam goes, Alexa, play some dumb rap song. Don't and do that. Uh, There's one in here. It'll do it. Oh. And uh, here, it started here, yeah. blasting at like 2 a.m. Oh, my God. And. We couldn't figure out how to turn it off because we're already stupid, and then there's alcohol, so we're way, <laughs> way, way more dumb than we need to be. You don't just tell it to stop. <laughs> uh, you know, that probably didn't cross our mind. And then Vinny came out very upset, and that yeah. was the start of the, <laughs> the, start of the roommate yeah. relationship. No dicks, though. No one was naked, so. That's good. That's a plus, right? Always an upgrade when it's the same thing, but minus the dicks. Yeah. <laughs> dicks do not upgrade any situation. <laughs> Most situations. What if it's in a box? The ninety nine percent of situations are not upgraded by the presence of a dick. You remember when uh, the podcast studio? It was very echo. Well, because we had the an, yetis. The yetis. Oh my god. There I like. I like it, but there was so much gain in those these, motherfuckers. These are so much better. They're so much better, but there was so much gains, and it, it gained and it picked up everything. Yeah, everything. So we would hang up. Like uh, I'd hang up blankets, oh, like foam board and stuff. No blankets, blankets. It didn't really help you there. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, in a, a in veteran def- veteran in, podcaster, in our here. defense, I do believe that there was an issue with the person editing our audio at that point, and oh. not a hundred percent producer. Because staff. later on, this producer discovered something in his software was causing an issue. So, I tried to go back and find the original files. I, c- I couldn't find them to, to remaster them. I'm pretty sure I could do a, a good job to get rid yeah, of a lot of that yeah. echoey noise and shit. But seems like this person knows a lot about computers. Lesson learned, though. <laughs> <laughs> is our you. is our number one podcast still the Real Girls one? I don't even know. I trans I moved from SoundCloud to Pinecast. So I don't know. I don't even know. I can look. Put it us up. on Spotify. It is on Spotify. It's oh. been on Spotify. P- Pinecast puts it everywhere. Yeah. Show so much I know. <laughs> yeah, it's on. A sp- cast. It's on Spotify. Thing. There's a bu- there's a bunch of podcasting platforms now. A cast, Pinecast. They all do the same thing. They just like yeah. n- they're like 
network. Talk to Mass. Oh, okay. They go everywhere. We uh yeah we had Apple Podcast. We had too. two f- two friends on the podcast. To podcast. <laughs> and most people they promoted it too. Lauren and Anna promoted it. Yeah. She's Anna moved right? No, Lauren did. I thought Anna's moved to Chicago. No, that's Lauren. Oh, Anna was going. She did, yeah, she did. That's I, whole thing. I thought you were moving to Chicago for a See, I, was, I was going to. Boom. Oh, look at that! I should probably follow it. I've been listening to speaking of podcasts. Really into how I built this. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. Great. Well, I want to find out that SoundCloud thing now. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. I listen to a few news podcasts and then a lot of D and D podcasts. I don't listen to any podcasts. Just, you're you're, work, you're a creator, not I don't a listen, consumer. I, I don't go to work anymore, so what am I listening to podcasts for? You're a creator, not a consumer. Do you uh, do you still watch Twitch streams? I do. I used to a lot, and I just don't anymore. You should. St- we should. St- well, if I ever return to D and D, we should. Stream we should it. no. We should stream games that we're playing. We could do multi stream. It's when you have like a few people all streaming the same game, and uh, if you watch one of them, there's a button that appears that says multi-stream, uh, and it go- opens like a grid of all four of them. Uh, or up, I what games up are you guys playing right now? The well, last one we were playing play was Raft. Oh yeah, I oh, Raft. I almost so I gave up on getting a, a gaming PC. Why? So I, just, I just don't play enough. I don't yeah, play that's enough. fair. So I was like, oh, I'm, I was gonna. B- I don't play enough. And I have. I want to buy an Xbox Series X. Don't do that. And I'm going to get a, play, get a PlayStation. No, no, I like the Xboxes because I like Halo. Okay. Um, That's and I'm I'm an Xboxman, and uh, I f- follow this guy from I think Tech Radar on Twitter who like announces them, and Best Buy had a restock yesterday. I Ooh. I checked it he, like literally a couple minutes after he posted it. I got in and they have like that kind of like waiting room sort of thing, but it was local pickup only. So I pick it. I add it to cart. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm home free, and then. I go, oh, Milford, this is the closest store, sold out. But it said available, and then you go back to the page, it says, oh, it's available, not. And then the lists just start shortening and shortening available stores, and then there were no available stores, so I couldn't buy an Xbox. Damn. Damn. Missed it by that much. So that was upsetting. I was really excited for a little bit. Can you buy them on the black market? Yeah, for a premium. I would how, like much, how much is the markup on <sighs> eBay? Almost 100%. Jeez, fucking Christ. Scalpers. Fucking scalpers. I will pay my five hundred dollars plus tax. I will not pay a thousand eight nine hundred thousand dollars for the same thing. Yeah, no. I'll I'll wait. My ex my Xbox is it Xbox? Yeah, my Xbox One. That's what I have. X Bone. My X Bone. Yeah, it still works. There's one behind you. Has been on since hasn't been used. Is that an Xbox One? Yeah, yeah. yeah bought it in twenty fourteen, October twenty fourteen. Why don't you use it? I don't game enough as it is. Is that a Fitbit scale? Oh, uh, uh, which one? The one on the left. No, that's a regular scale. Oh. The Bluetooth one's behind. I have a Fitbit scale. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the I like the Bluetooth scale. I don't like weighing myself. I have so a, it makes me upset. I have a Fit Index. Yeah, I know. I wanted to do that more, and I got the app for it and everything, and I started working out. The number just keeps going up, though, no matter what I do. Tell me about it. Tell me about yeah, it. Is your, mus- is your muscle mass going up, though? My fat mm-hmm. mass is going up. Your fat is? My gut. I guess. Uh, yeah. you that's why I can't eat fried chicken from Sawa Chop anymore. Are you eating enough protein? Yeah, I think I, if anything, I, I'm eating too much protein. I eat like shit. There's no such thing as too much. You're supposed to, if you want to gain muscle, you need like I don't want to gain muscle. One I gram. Lose, I want to lose fat. So go do. Well, but I also I do also want to gain muscle. But I yeah. do eat enough protein. I eat a lot of protein. How much? I don't know. Like 50 grams a day. That's not nearly enough. I don't know. How much are you supposed to eat? Like one know, one, like one gram per pound of body weight, or one gram per pound of lean body weight. One gram per pound per of lean body weight. Yeah. So if my ideal weight is, say, 150, I'm supposed to eat 150 grams. Well, that's body weight. Your lean body weight would probably be translate to probably close to, like, 120. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, 100-something so grams. Yeah. What did I say? 50. Okay. It's probably more than that. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I weigh 170, and I appreciate it. You're 170? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm a fucking I'm gut. How tall are you? Six. I don't know. Six? Wait, stand up. Get into the twos and tell me how you feel. I'm... We're... You're almost. You're only a couple inches taller than me. Okay. How tall are I'm you? also 170. How tall? Oh, yeah, are you? fucking shows. Pounds. Look at that ass. <laughs> oh, my my ass don't quit. My ass is a fucking dump truck. Oh yeah, you do got a dump truck. I got a fucking could dump have, truck. Ass. Have a bidet. Um, <laughs> I gotta wash that dump truck. Um, what was the question? How tall am I? I don't remember. Uh, five yeah. ten. Five ten. You're six. Are you sure? Yeah. That you're, makes sense. Because you you're, you're about a couple. I'm six. You're about a couple. I'm pretty sure I'm seventy two inches. Yeah. Yeah. You're about a couple inches taller ish. So just by eyeballing it, I and I'm five ten, so I slouch too. So if you don't slouch, you're probably seventy three inches. And we're both, Damn. and we're both one seventy, one seventy three. So I'm, I'm even worse than you. 
It's all, it's all my ass. My ass Do you go to the gym at all? No. I got two pound weights. That's look, at these, look at these little tiny I'm, rubber coated. I had a really good two gym pounds. habit before COVID. Like my, I'd go, after work, I'd go to the gym every day. The gym how much, at my work. How much weight do you think you gained from COVID? It's really hard to measure me because I went through a breakup and then I had mono. So it's it's. I think I was my lowest was like one fifty. Wow. Yeah, I, dro- I lost a lot oh, of weight. Oh, so you lost from? I think I was like one sixty five okay. and then dropped to like one fifty after mono and everything. Really? And now I'm back to one. I'm at one seventy now. Yeah. I've lost weight. But I it shows that was on purpose. I think I think you've lost weight. Been walking a lot. That's I love. I, I found out I love walking. Yeah, like, like an old person. I <laughs> yeah. I remember I told you. Nice. I told I remember, suit. I told what? Well, funny enough, I told Julie <laughs> um because we were right by Cambridge side, and I was like, let's just go to the mall. Yeah. She goes, why? I go, let's just walk around. She goes, be like mall walkers. I was like, yeah, why not? She's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what I, old I people do. I loved running why by Cambridge side do you around think it. They like it, it. Yeah, it's nice. It was the perfect running trail because you run you get the breeze off the river yep and yep. it was like it was it wasn't always super populated but it was like people around you motivating you to run if running against somebody I was like that be, that's a beautiful area it was and like well the water the kendall square area too because i would g- i would go over there for walks with abby a lot but it's like very level ground for the most part yeah. so and it's like i liked the route it was easy to make a route because it was like relatively like blocks they, so like you could be like oh, i'll go up in a couple more blocks or whatever i miss I really wanted to move back there, but it's so fucking expensive. It's so oh my god, it's unbelievable. I, I like living in Cambridge, but I can't Way pay three grand a month. I can't do it. I, yeah, it's I just was, not worth it. Like yeah, it's nice to live there, but like, also COVID hits, everything's closed over there. Not even worth it. The closest it's, I found was um, uh, the Avalon ones that are right nice. next to there, and they had a one bedroom that what was those, like four thousand. No, 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 it was like twenty four, twenty five, and I like toyed with the idea. And then I was like, oh, shit. It's fucking I also have to pay for pet rent. And guess and what? In a parking spot. Abby doesn't car. have a job. So I ha- nope. I pick that up. Rent free. Parking, it parking all, spot, It all too. adds up, all these fees. It's yeah. Like, fuck. And I was like, oh, so I'm going to be paying pr- close to three grand just to live there. That's cost of entry. No way. Ugh. So the next best thing was Quincy. I've been thinking I, I, you're going to be mad about this. I'm Vinny. not mad about Vinny, anything. Vinny's, Vinny's about to be really mad, angry. Okay. I w- I've been looking at... Um, what the difference to me would be in terms of like cost of ownership of a Tesla versus my car. Oh, I, 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 I actually I'm only a financial advisor, I, but do what you want. I only I, advise. I, I don't tell you what to do. Grayson, I, I literally just went right through that. I almost, yeah. bought, I almost bought a Tesla. I, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him, and I'm thinking I'm saving. Do you have, do you have chargers at your no. complex? No. Yeah, I, 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 know, just, yeah. I just get, that was my problem. <coughs> I because my old building in Kendall Square had chargers in the garage. Yes, yeah, that would be free. that would be nice. So I was like, oh, if I was still there and I was also splitting the rent, I would be like, right. oh, I could totally do it. Yeah, but yeah, I got to do a gas vehicle so until, until I have a house where I can install a charger. They are they're they're um, currently in process of planning to install superchargers in Lexington, which is just north of. You have to pay for supercharging though. That's fine. It's less than gas. I don't know. You still have to pay for it, though. Yeah, but she's a supercharger. What's you the car to, you have to pay for electricity no matter what. What's not the if car you, par- not if you park at work. That's what I want to know. A Tesla's actually going to offer their own insurance because, it, of, because of the safety features. Yes. And it's good. Yeah. It's going to be way cheaper than any other insurance for Teslas. Guaranteed. Because they know how safe their own cars are. And they Dude, know. Dude, one just caught on fire. Oh, yeah. How many gas cars catch on fire? I'm just saying. I'm going. I'm not looking at other vehicles. <laughs> I'm looking at Tesla on its own. I'm just saying. Well, Grayson, well that's, a, was, that's a dumb way of thinking about cars. I was about ninety percent of the way. <laughs> you there. have to compare them to other cars. I was like about to lease a Model Three. Yeah. Um, and it's like four hundred if you lease them, and if you yeah. get the lowest, if you get the lowest version. Well, I, I was also with a lease, so I, I leased my new car, and they the recommendation for leases is not to put money down because it all rolls into it. Right. It doesn't like yeah. help at all. Um, so it's gonna be like. I wanted to do the next up, the perform, not the perform- the long range. Yes, not the performance. The Model Three the long-, long range, yeah. And it was going to be like five forty nine a month or whatever. Oh okay, God. yeah, that's not bad. Um, which was I was like, okay, I can work with that. But yeah, yeah then I like I also didn't know where I was going to live, and I was like, if I have street parking, this makes no sense. Right. But yeah. I could charge at the office, but I that means I have to go to the office yep. to charge it. So. So that's that's exactly the reason why I I think it's a no for now as well. Because how many miles are on your car? Forty five thousand. Yeah, keep driving. And is it paid for? No, it's like, it's about uh, two thirds paid for. So would you be underwater if you if you were? I think to it's. V- I think the value is about equal to the remaining. Okay, so you okay? So you may, worst case you pay like maybe a couple hundred bucks or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think the value is about equal to what it's what yeah. I owe. I would say it. I would say until like you 
until you have like a house. If I own it and I have a place to charge it quickly, yeah, because it's not enough to charge it at a normal charger. Because it, it it's overnight if you need if you have a normal charger. Well, no, you, well the plug-in charger like the AC. I'm talking I'm talking about either a garage overnight is overnight. Yeah. Or a random company like you know this charge point charge yeah. point is the big company so charge point chargers you have to charge it there overnight or it's not full um so so if you want to fill up a tesla it's either a supercharger or a normal garage or so, charge point overnight well because tesla you can charge with just a regular yeah like, yes piece. but it's overnight uh, yeah that, well that's why you have you, I, I it's actually from what i understood it takes like my, six my old boss um installed the a charger not the plug-in one but right. a charger in his house and, and you need a 240 volt outlet for that. Yeah, he said it took a little bit, but yeah. it's been worth it. So you're buying yeah. a house. So I'm just gonna. Well, that's so, that's so, the thing is, if I got so a house, so you buy a house, it's right? It's a no-brainer. You buy a house with a garage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What is your significant other gonna drive for a car? Tesla too. What is your significant other gonna have a Tesla as well? Yeah, we could have two Teslas. So you, you, will, you buy a house. So you have, now you have to buy a two-car garage. She's paying two, five. So she's paying 500 already, by the way. So for what her kind car. car. What kind of car does she have? She's a Subaru. It's on one year. That's why it's 500. So. It's on a one year. So you're, now you're gonna oh. buy a yeah. house with a two two car bay garage. Yep. Okay. So then you're gonna plug in that. What if you don't have a two car bay garage? What do you mean? What if you buy a house with only a single bay garage? You got charge every night. Well, we we wouldn't do that. Well, you don't. You I'm also don't. Have to, you don't have to charge it every night. You don't have to charge it every night. Because I think the range for the long range was like four hundred. I want to say two fifty for standard and three fifty for long. Three fifty, yeah, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's what my car has on a tank of gas. At least three hundred, three fifty, four hundred. Yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a Tesla eventually. I I think the main thing is that if there's not a supercharger nearby, if there's a supercharger within ten minutes, worth it. But if there's not, uh, I need to have I need to have a place to reliably charge it overnight that I can walk to from my house. I don't want to drive to a supercharger to a like a charge point overnight because yes. then I'm ha- then I'm having to drive my girlfriend's Subaru. Over to the charge point, and we'd both have to go so we could leave it there overnight. I'm not trying. That's not worth it. Yeah, that. Because a supercharger can charge it uh, 70% full in 15 minutes. That's pretty crazy. Magic. That's, and that's like level four, three or level four charging. I forget. I don't know exactly what those mean, but the level one charge point and the level two charge points. What's Elon like Musk's? Six to eight hours. What's his actual title at Tesla now that they did with the SEC filings? I, I know their CF. No, I know their CFO is Master of Coin. I'm trying to remember what his was. Oh, they changed them. That's funny. I'm trying to remember what his is. Uh, master of Engineering. Probably. No, no, it was it wasn't Master. So it was it was. Um, I, forget, it was I think it's, I think he's lead engineer, or head engineer. I'm gonna. You know what? They created something. There's for a this. there's a thing in your pocket that can tell you everything you need to know. I think he's lead engineer on his most of his projects. But yeah, I I need it. I need to have a supercharger within. Oh, tech knocking of Tesla. Techno king. Yeah. Techno king. Techno king at Tesla. Yeah. And they f- that was I th- I'm pretty sure it was a SEC filing too. Yeah. So it's yeah. that's it's a, it's official. It's very funny. I need to have a supercharger within ten minutes because then I can go there, spend fifteen minutes watching Netflix on the car's TV on the car on the car's screen because you can watch Netflix in the car when it's parked. Yeah, that's right. And you could just sit there for fifteen minutes while it charges up to seventy eighty percent. Watch an episode of a show on Netflix and then leave the supercharger and then go home. And that's 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 your charger for you know the week or whatever. But it, otherwise, you have to. It's overnight and that's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I ended up. I was just like, ah, oh, there's just too many barriers. So I ended up. Uh, I'm gonna plug my friend Sean at uh, Minuteman Volkswagen. I think is what it's called. You're gonna get a VW. And I already have it. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah yeah. That's the Passat. Oh, you got it. You actually, I thought that was a parent's car or something. Oh, no, no, no. I got it, I don't know, in April or something like that. I was like, I need a car. I don't know. You had a car. Yeah. I mean, he was buying a car, but I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you got a car. I leased it. I leased it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm, I don't think I'll ever own a car again. I like I like tr- switching it up. If you lease a car, you can just switch it every year. Well, not every year. I mean, you could. You have to do buyouts and all that stuff. But yeah, I did a 39 month lease. Nice. So, so, it's a depreci- depreciating asset. I was like, fuck it, whatever. I mm. might as well just keep buying well, depreciating why assets. Why would you ever rent when you can own? Bleh. Grayson, that's totally different. Is, the house is it? De- house, um, house, house, sorry, where's, where's, where's your house? How does land depreciate? Where's your house? A house I haven't bought a house yet. Yeah? Houses don't depreciate. Then, then, yeah. yeah. General, a, general, generally speaking. Shut your mouth then. But anyways, yeah. Please so rent forever, Grace. When you hit 65, you're going to retire <laughs> and have, you're fucked. Look, we're all going to be renting forever anyway. No, I'm buying a house. No, 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 no. I mean, as a society. Because... 
Do you know? You, I, I, yeah, we, Wall Street's buying them up. We I talked know. about this. I know, but I, I, oh, the hedge funds. Yeah, I'm not worried yes. about it. The hedge funds gonna... are buying up, and it's called single family rentals (SFRs). No so way. It's a buy a house as soon as it's you can. It's an acronym that is going to be more relevant as the years go on. What do you do? In your, what do you do to retire? And you're on a fixed. Can I plug Sean real quick? My friend Sean, at who's v- sales manager, at Volkswagen Minuteman Volkswagen in Bedford, hooked me up. That was a. Does back, Chapin a little, work there still? Little quick. Back no, Chapin never. Chapin worked at a, a Honda. <laughs> Couldn't make the Volkswagen up. Oh, no. They worked <laughs> together at Haunt. Oh, Jeez, this was... This must have been 2015, probably. Oh, 20, wow, something like that. Long ago. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It feels like yesterday. And uh, Chapin was not... Chapin actually just got promoted. He's a GM of a uh, uh, tractor supply, I think Oh, I think, I think I saw that, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> tractor supply? I don't know which one it is. It's one of those outdoorsy stores. Where's your, where's your tractor supply store? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Well, I don't There's know. a tractor I supply no store in. Do you know where your tractor supply store is? At Blackstone. I don't know. Them. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, I went to a Staples uh, yesterday. Oh my, I'm such a cotton headed mini muggins. I uh, I went to the office on Tuesday and I left yeah. my charger at work for my laptop. Oof, oof. They got the Targus Universal charger. They got yeah. the Targus Universal. But I don't think they. I don't think those support Max. And I also no. I also don't want to buy one of those. Did you have to buy a new Mac charger? Um, you bought a new Mac. I bought a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a new Mac. I bought a well, no, because I have a USB C charging port on my desk, um, which is does not, your Mac take USB C? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Which is not fast enough. No. So basically, what it is is it like delays the battery burning down during the day, and then <laughs> I've just been charging yeah. it overnight. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. Ba- I have to go back to the office next week, but it's like it 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 works enough for me to. That cannot be good for the battery. No way. <laughs> but no way. It works enough it's for work, me. It's a work PC. It, like, it, it work works. It works enough for me to get through the day. So yeah. if I'm on the computer all day, video calls all day, it's just like draining by half of what it normally would if it was unplugged. Yep. And then it just juices overnight. That's oh kind of God. the strategy right now. Very funny. It's yeah, not, they're so expensive. Not I, they don't even sell the charging pieces together, by the way. So I bought. I bought the cord. I bought the one meter cord, which is what three feet or whatever. Yeah. For twenty bucks. That's the that's just a piece of metal and rubber, right? Exactly. And then the two the two meter one was like thirty. And you need the brick as and well. And the brick is I bought I it's I, like was, I, bucks. I went to Best Buy today, I look at the brick. Seventy bucks. Yeah. For a charging brick. Yeah. It's unbelievable. They oh wait, are you surprised at Apple's high prices? No. I still love this. Their is, this is why you bought it. Yeah. I still lo- I still love their you products. You signed up for this. I still love their products. Did they, is that still that thing where you actually don't own their products? You're like technically renting them if you read the contract of it, or was that a? I don't read so. Was that a yeah. contracts? That might have been a meme. That was probably the South Park episode. It <laughs> might have been a South Park. The Cent- Hugh and Centipede episode is the one. The oh God! Full circle. But yeah, I uh, I I was quite just. Oh yeah, I went to Best Buy, the Best Buy in Milford yesterday, mm-hmm. and yeah. I start walking up, and the employees are outside. They're like, "We're closed." I was like, "What?" It's like twelve o'clock. It was during my lunch, and their uh, the power went out. Oh, no. oh. So, that, so that's why. I, so that's why I had to go to Staples. <laughs> I was like, oh, I remember Staples sold Apple stuff or starting to when I left, and th- it was there was no one there. Oh my Staples God. is a, a weird ghost place town. Now. Yeah, it's weird. And the cashier didn't even greet me yeah. as I came yeah. in, or what? when I or yeah. when I left. Yeah, it's, it's, if it's I different. was managing that store, I would have lost my shit. Oh I, w- my I was. God. There might have been one other customer. I go in a store and I'm born all the time in Brighton, and I no one ever talks to me. There. I think they're not following vibe anymore. Definitely, no. there's the, nothing. All red days. Yeah, all red days. <laughs> the waste vibe. of money. Remember yeah. the vibe hammer? Oh my oh god. god! Remember we'd have Kevin hit it. Vibe, <laughs> vibe. <laughs> we should have him on the podcast. Kevin's uh, too busy playing Rust. Is, is that, that AK? Goes? Tempered That's, AK. Yeah, he plays yeah. fucking Rust. Shout out to Tempered AK. He plays Rust nonstop. He literally plays Rust like what's Rust? Sixteen hours it's a day. Just it's a, a PC game. game. Rust was a cool COD map. Yeah, yeah, it was. It's it's literally a game where it, there's not even zombies. It's like a zombie yep. survival game where you're just like building bases and trying to find it's all PvP. guns and it's, it's all hundred percent PvP. PvP. It's so toxic. I can't even handle Very it. Very small maps. It's like PUBG but on s- way smaller maps. Oh I've yeah. heard of PUBG. Yeah. Heard of it's kinda like PUBG. Do people still play still play Fortnite? Oh, fuck oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. All the kids. It's all all the kids still play. Is it, it. still free? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Ugh. Um I, I know Ninja probably still plays it and there's a YouTuber from Australia. Is he still big? No. There's a YouTuber from Australia named New Silk and I, I like subscribe to his channel a long ass time ago and he still i still see notifications all he posts are fortnite videos so ninja is not big anymore no ninja's still big he's not as big as he was 
What, what was he what, peaked. He what, peaked. What, what was Microsoft's gaming Mixer. platform? Mixer. Mixer. Mixer yeah. How long did that last? Like a couple months or like whatever. A year at most. Not even a year. Not even a year. Ninja made his money, and then he he, he made a sweet he streams a lot less now, and a lot of the kids don't watch him anymore. He, he's not big anymore. He literally got like. 10, he got all his ten money. million dollars. Yeah, he got all the money. He paid off for his contract. Paid off up front for the contract. I for get. The year. I get him confused with PewDiePie. I don't watch PewDiePie. They're not anything alike. I know, but they look alike. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they kind do. of. They do. Yeah, okay. PewDiePie got Pewdie- do- PewDiePie he got doxed, right? He is way more handsome. He no, got he moved. I thought he got doxed. Wait, in what way? In his I, address? No, I thought he. I thought he said something bad. Oh no, you mean canceled? Yeah. Canceled. You're talking yeah. about canceled? Oh yeah. Isn't he a Nazi or something? I don't know. No, he he was he said some nazi thing like two or like five years ago it was so long ago honestly and he's he completely rebounded he's back to being oh. on the top he literally who's, like, who's the other youtube guy who's uh who he's, got canceled? he's canceled uh david dobrick oh yeah he uh, he got really canceled he he recently uncanceled himself he had a pretty good apology bold. he had a pretty good apology video it was like yeah he, no he's a piece of shit though he should not have been there. now that bill cosby's out of prison is he still canceled yeah, he's gonna get, he's gonna go on the talk show circuit. No, he's not. Who's he gonna have him is. on? Uh, uh, Alex Jones for one. Okay, well that's fine. <laughs> Sa- uh, shout out Sam. Can't shout shout out forward to Sam. Show well, didn't one of the actors on the show who like now is like a, a professor? I think I read that maybe one of the child actors when the show was oh, up. Probably she like supported him outwardly, and she had a issue like an apology because you know for supporting him. Yeah, cause mm. she's a professor. <laughs> Cancel culture. Something like that. <laughs> she should probably teach at Trump University. She should probably not apologize for a rapist. Just a thought. Yeah. Or well, she, I, she didn't apologize. She was like... No, no. I, I mean, like, be an apologist for uh, a rapist. Like, trying to excuse his behavior. Did they... His, he got... They basically declared, like, a after-the-fact mistrial. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it was... A, the judge declared it an unlawful trial, yeah. Whatever, he'll be dead soon, so it's pretty they cool. They just overturned his conviction. How old is he now? 83. It's, yeah. I think he's 83. Wow. Very old. Yeah. That's, that, not, that, that's not that old But he wants days. to do stand-up yeah. again, though. He it's wants to do some sets. You know, Richard Branson is, like, mid-70s. Yeah. Cares. He was the guy who went to space on a space plane. Should have stayed there. Really? Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, I he's, I a, he's I a British I guy. I saw that. I saw that meme. Oh, yeah, the... Petition to not let the billionaires come back from space. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good petition. Richard Branson seems like a cool dude. He's he's just seems like a weird old. He's grandpa. very eccentric. Yeah. He d- I don't think he's like. A, I mean, all all billionaires are inherently unethical, but he doesn't seem like he's actively hurting people. He just has a yeah, because he's hiding it too he just, well. He just owns an airline or whatever, and a laundry. No, he he does. So doesn't he? Virgin. Well, you know, it's a Virgin. It's Airlines. a bunch of brands. So it's a, it's a British Airways. Yes, because he can't own an airline in the U.S. What happened? To, why? Why? Why not? <laughs> because it's just like how Elon Musk like can because he's not. Uh, oh, US he got citizen. like SEC'd out of it. Well, because he's not U.S. It's like against the law. Really? For like an FAA something with the FAA. They, they have yeah. to be. A, you have to be a citizen to own an airline in America. Yeah. In America, yeah. That is Op- so to operate. Yeah, and to be president. That is so weird. Oh well, that makes sense. They have power. The airlines. airlines have more power than a do, president. Do they really? I learned that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about they that. They can shut the sky down, Grayson. So I, I think learned that's the FAA. I think I you're learned that one. <laughs> I learned that one. I was listening to How I Built This. Yeah, yeah. I was listening to the JetBlue founder and that's Richard cool. Branson. I guess wanted to like acquire JetBlue at one point because uh, he could me. to get around basically being a U.S. citizen. That thing. Yeah, that makes sense. That's uh interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah that's why um, Elon Musk is the owner of companies, though, isn't he? He can't like operate the. It's it's something. Okay. It's uh, it's okay. something. Okay. There's some. There's it's, it's bullshit laws. There's so something well. that I know just a little bit about. So you just you just know just like ten percent of it. Ju- not not even. <laughs> I know a smi- I know a smidgen of it. <laughs> of all of the three billionaires that are trying to go to space, I feel like if any of them, if we could if we could nuke one of them while they were in space. If Jeff Bezos. If we say it at the same time. Oh, you already said it. Oh, say, it, gonna say, say it. it. All at once. One, two, three. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Jeff he's Bezos. the fucking worst. He's fucking like a shitty Lex Luthor. Yeah. He's awful. He's he's knockoff. Awful. He's Walmart brand Lex Luthor. I love God. hearing his laugh. It's, oh, it's so it's creepy. Actually an e- it's an evil laugh. Uh, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> It's very robotic, yeah. Good thing his wife left him. To cap his actually, fucking money. He's he's kind of a he's kind of a real Tony Stark about that because his he, his wife left him because he was fucking his uh, helicopter pilot friend. That's right. That's right. Which is the coolest way to have an affair with a fucking helicopter, a cinematic. I'd rather fuck a helicopter. A though. cinematography helicopter pilot is a cool mistress to have. Just saying. 
I don't know. I, th- I think there's worse billionaires than them. There definitely are. Yeah, the Warren Buffett. The Koch brothers? The Koch brothers. Koch brothers, yeah. Koch well, brothers I, think Buffett, I think there's only one brother. Oh, the only one dead? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. It's just, it's just oh, like, too bad. Well, he has shame. a bunch of he has a bunch of heirs. There's yeah, the but heirs they're going to fight over the money, though. Yeah. It'll be the same as having yeah. two people on Have there. you ever read into the Vanderbilt for- fortune? Oh, how my it's God. It's not a fortune. It's incredible. The Vanderbilts are they, it's they, old I, money, right? They, they had... Um, it was the oil magnate. I'm right? pretty sure they had a billion dollars at the turn of the 19th century, which is... More. That's like a trillion... Who was the oil guy back then? What was his name? Uh, what the fuck was his name? It's gonna bother me. Do you mean Rex working. Tillerson? No, I'll tell you in a second. Like turn of the century? Yeah, I'll tell you in a second who I'm thinking of. But you guys can talk. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, I think, <laughs> I think uh, the Koch brothers are worse. I think Warren Buffett is worse. You don't um, like War- I love Warren, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett was on The Office though for an episode. He's a sweet old man. Isn't he a terrible person? What is no? What's it, where do you make his money? Everyone loves Warren Buffett. Where do you make his children's money? tears? Isn't it, wasn't it Wall, wasn't he a Wall Street guy? I don't know, man. No, he had. J- I'm thinking of J.P. Morgan. He, oh, okay. No, Am I he thinking has, of J.P. Morgan? Probably. Okay. Pro- yes, Warren Buffett like is, I think, a very well regarded person. It's pronounced buffet. okay. Warren Buffet. Warren Buffet. It's, <laughs> it's French. He. Fa- I, I forget if he. Fa- I don't think he founded Berkshire he? Hathaway. They basically are like an umbrella company. Yeah. Dude, they're that's all a, awful. That's a, that's a terrible thing to do. If you so watch how Succession, is that a terrible thing? Like, yeah, what, what do you awful. mean? Go watch Succession. He makes money off of other people's money. That is the most parasitic Grayson, bullshit I've ever America. heard of in my that's life. America. That's how you. That's you don't. You de- he doesn't deserve that. Why not? Why would you deserve to make money off of other people's money? Well, he. Tell me he what's owns, so special well, about you that makes you worthy. Well, he had the money. Well, he's. Oh, he. Oh, well, he where do you get the money? He owns those companies. Where do you get the money from? His dad. I don't know. Where do you get from the money? a modest At million dollar? <laughs> <laughs> lo- <laughs> oh, yeah. What was it? What was it? A a small loan of a million dollars. Yes, I think he said. Yeah, small or modest. That, that was. One of the I think two. it was a small. It, it was a uh, Donald Trump, but it was a small loan of a million dollars. Is the quote? Yeah. Yeah. No. Where did he? The point is, where did he get his money, and what did he do to deserve it? I'm looking at nothing. Up right absolutely I'm fucking it nothing. Up right now. Stop it. Absolutely nothing. Um, filling air. Filled um, with no, air. I'm looking. I'm looking up Warren Buffet and. Warren. Uh, he seems like it came from almost nothing. It wasn't handed to him. He worked for it. Fun fact, he lives in the same house he's owned for like 40 years that he bought for like $200,000. Seems like a smart man. And he, yes. has, he drives like a used car. Oh, he's, yes. I know. I have heard of this guy. He's okay. like Ron Sargent. Okay. Who was the who was the uh, agoraphobic guy with the shoe boxes on his Howard Hughes? Howard Hughes. Yeah. He did you do you know about that? Um, it's not even a conspiracy because it's a real thing that happened, but uh, it sounds like a conspiracy about Is this how the Vegas thing where the guy no, picked him up on the side of the road. No, the thing where he like built a uh, an exploration ship on the ocean and it was like the biggest exploration vessel ever, and it was gonna discover science about the Pacific Ocean. But I've it was all this. it was a CIA front. I've never heard this for an operation to recover a part of a Russian submarine that sank in the middle of the Pacific. What year was this? Uh, it must later. have been late late 60s. Uh, well, d- he was like really a recluse by then, though. That's the thing. Who, I don't how, know. How yeah, Howard, Howard Hughes. It was before uh, he was a recluse. CIA? It was bu- yeah. It, it, it Russia? Was Russian submarine Howard Hughes boat uh, thing. Uh, K-129. K yeah, it's a, it's a book. You can read a book on it. It's an incredible story. They built a giant boat that's like, you know, those boats that carry other boats. What's a boat? You know, those boats that carry. Project a- Azorian. Azorian. Project Azurian. Also called Jennifer. Fun fact. <laughs> Jennifer? Project Jennifer. Project Jennifer. Yeah. Yeah. He built this massive bo- exploration vessel and they like, it was Howard Hughes. He's like, you know, the Tony Stark of his time. Yeah. I mean, that's the ship right there. It just looks like a big ass ship. Can I see? It, it was like the biggest exploration vessel that had ever been built. That's didn't, yeah. didn't James Cameron do that too? That's how he did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Titanic. Probably. Yeah. And he, they sailed it out into the middle of the Pacific, and they lowered this giant claw game crane down into the Pacific to pick up a piece of a Russian submarine because we found it before the Russians did. Nice. And they were like, oh, we lost this submarine. And we were like, hey, we found it. <laughs> Keep it to ourselves. And then we launched this boat, and they had a giant claw game claw. They picked it up mm-hmm. from the bottom mm-hmm. of the ocean, and they attached it to the bottom of the boat, and they sailed back, and they got away. They got away with part of what they grabbed because the part that they grabbed halfway up broke in half. So yeah. it was like a it was like a quarter of a submarine at that. When point. did Howard Hughes die? When did he die? Because this was nineteen like seventy four. I think he was dead by then. No, it was. It was no, he was, he was. He died two years later. It was him definitely. But he was definitely a recluse by then. I don't think. I maybe think they it might his, have been his company or maybe his they design. used his money. Yeah. I don't think Howard Hughes was in the t- tissue boxes out there. No. Fucking. No, he wasn't on the boat either way. He wasn't. No. God. No matter what. It's 
such a fascinating story. I've been listening to Winds of Change. That's how I go read Seven Eves. You heard, started it, you didn't finish it. I heard about that story recently. I know. I got to. Well, I'm going to finish I, it. I, I started it on vacation. Well, fucking That's finish why. it. So I, now I need. I need I'm some reading more. The Expanse for you. Reading Leviathan Wakes. Why are you reading it for me? I, I don't know. I just, I just, I I just read it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I haven't even you finished like space. It. I do like space. Leviathan Wakes is, is it's not as heavy in science fiction as, as Seven Eves. It's more, it's more plot Se- going Seven through Eves, the space. Seven Eves is fascinating. I know. So I told you it two years ago. Uh, I, I I knew about it two years ago. And like it's better. I'm pretty sure I knew about it Se- before. The you second part's fucking crazy. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I I love the Expanse though. I don't ever watch them read the books. Really good. Are you, are you gonna watch it after you finish the books? Uh, probably. But I don't know. I had to torrent for all mankind because it's on fucking Apple Plus. How dare you? How do you not get Apple Plus? Like, do you I have Apple Plus? I have, no, I've torrented yeah, it. Yeah, you torrented it too. I have Apple up. Plus. Do you, you should watch for all mankind. You should watch for all mankind. Space. I just finished Ted Lasso, which I enjoyed. What if the Soviets beat us to the moon? It's a it's a good premise. It is, and then it catapults the space race even higher bounds do for you, years to come. Who do you think is gonna make it? Back, I, I, back I, to I, the I moon first? I've only watched first at four episodes. No, no, I'm talking about in real life. Who do you think is gonna make it back to space? Back to the back to the moon. You know we're in the, we're in a new space. Can race Russia now. afford to go to the moon? No. So the US. Russia will not go to the moon. No, China. It's between China and us. I don't think China. I think China's gonna explode as they mm, fucking get in the atmosphere. They have a space station now. It, yeah, but it t- it's a lot to get through a space station against the fucking moon. It is. It's like how many miles away is it? Is it three hundred thousand miles away or hundred eighty thousand miles away? Uh, three hundred thousand. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't drive there. Def- no, no, you, you cannot. The Tesla battery will not last long it enough. Won't. No. <laughs> the Tesla battery. They, there is there is a I Tesla just, roadster I, I, out I on just, Mars. Like it's I don't trust like the the Chinese space program. They feel like they have to take risks like the Soviets did. Yes, because they just, they have to do it. It's like the well, pride thing. They have to be there. The, they have to get there no matter what. The interesting thing, the fascinating thing to think about the space race in like the Soviet version and this version is it's the same exactly what you said. It's the same thing. The Soviets did this like reckless like uh, try first, blow stuff up first, ask questions second yeah, yeah. Pro- process. And the United States was like, we got to be really fucking careful. We don't yeah, yeah. like if we if we kill one of our astronauts and they did. It's going to be really uh, damaging. They killed actually a few of them. It's going to be really no, damaging. Rip Gus Grissom. Rip. Yeah. The, the too much uh, Velcro. The Apollo Eleven. Or what the, happened? No, the Apollo One. Was it the Apollo One? Apollo One or Apollo Zero? Have oh. you guys ever seen the movie Apollo Thirteen? Yes. Tom Hanks, yeah, directed by Ron Howard. It's a great. Came out in great movie. That, there's a there's uh, a very funny scene where I figured you had that was <laughs> that was the point of that. There's a very <laughs> funny scene where they're doing like a little docking analogy, and he's like, the glass goes into the bottle like this, and he's trying to flirt with a. A hot mom or wow. something. Wow, it's very funny. Do you, know, do you know what docking is? Yes, I know what docking <laughs> is. <laughs> I gotta get going, by the way. Where are you going? Home. I what gotta, What do you gotta do? I gotta walk the dog, or she's oh, gonna be a fucking nut job. Oh shit! Watch out for the ticks. I gotta go prepare for D and D. Oh shit! We're over an hour. Oh, oh. my god! Oh my god! Are we gonna be doing? We gonna be doing this again? You get us talking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gone all, pretty much all of August, but I can do it. And then he's gonna be gone forever. No, I'll be back in another country. No, we'll see. Anyways. Bye. Bye. Ha- have a good life. Stay safe. Stay safe. No, no, no. That's <laughs> a different podcast. podcast. That's a wrong goodbye.